Um, the fun stuff, and this is where we're going to get into some demos, is improving profitability. And I'm actually going to out of this whole list here, which is more than we can cover in our time frame, I'm actually going to cover a few topics. I'm going to cover our integrated voicemail and email, demonstrate that. I'm going to discuss our call recording and integrated faxing capabilities. I'm going to discuss our remote teleworker support. I'm going to discuss our ACD call queuing. And I'm going to discuss our PC call connector technology. So without further ado, let's get into some fun. Oh, yeah, and extension mobility, too. There's more. So what I'm going to do real quickly is talk for just a brief moment about integrated messaging, and then we're going to do a demonstration. Integrated messaging is, is a very powerful feature, and it's going to be more and more expected. Of course, many of our competitors offer it as well, uh, but we've done it, I think, in a very interesting fashion. What integrated messaging is fundamentally is the ability to access your voicemail from email, the ability to visually see your voicemail so that instead of being stuck listening to it and, and having to be stuck sequentially going through your voicemail verbally, you have the ability to walk up to your computer and right inside of your email client see your voicemail by caller ID, which gives you the ability to prioritize it, pick which ones you want to listen to first, see sort in any order you want, as well as access older messages in any, in any, in any order you want. In addition to that, and more powerfully than that, it gives you the ability to, to save those messages or be able to get them out of your voicemail system and, and, and share them with other people out, even outside of your company. So what we'll do is demonstrate this for a minute. So I'm going to flip over here. You're going to see a couple screen changes. Um, the first screen change is actually going to be pulling up my, my, my email client. And the second thing I'm actually going to do is pull up a, uh, a camera view. Now, what you're going to see in the camera view is actually three of our phones, uh, a couple that you saw in, in, in the slide so a minute ago. Uh, we have on the left our 500 series phones for SMB. We have an, on the top of the system a, a phone with a uh, cut with a big display. That's our 7970 series. And then there's actually a, a wireless phone there just for fun that's sitting propped up next to it. Now what I'm actually going to do here is come in here and, and kind of show you how the phone system interacts. Now if, you, if I zoom up to the, to the phone itself, you're going to notice there's actually a red light on the top of the phone handle. That actually is the voicemail waiting indicator. So if I was to walk into my office, I'd notice that and say I have voicemail. Now, obviously, I can actually push the voicemail button and access my voicemail verbally, but I may not choose to do that because I probably have seven or eight stacked up since I've been on this call. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to go over to my email, and you'll notice that in addition to my standard email inbox right here, I actually have a secondary inbox, and in that secondary inbox, I have a list of voice messages. And instead of it being by email, it's, it's by caller ID or by internal extension number. For example, this first message right here is by internal extension. The second message is by caller ID. Now, what the beauty of this, of course, is now I have a message I can, I can listen to on the computer because I can actually open up that message, and I can open that WAV file from my computer and just listen to it right here instead of having to go to my phone. But probably more importantly than that, I can take that message, I can save it to any, any file location I want, which, of course, you can think of the scenarios there. I could have a, a customer complaint or, or maybe more positively a customer commendation, or I could have a set of instructions. I could have a change order. There's so many different things that could be left on voicemail that I now can save, put in a filing cabinet, or better yet, taken forward to anyone in the world internally or externally. Very, very powerful feature, I think. Now, as a proof positive that this is real time, you're going to notice that the red light on the top of my phone is still on, and that's because I have one unread message in my mailbox. So what I'm actually going to do here is go to this top message that's unread, and I'm going to read it just by opening the message in Outlook. And what you should notice if you pay attention to the screen capture is the red light actually went off my phone. So it's a, it's a real-time modification of my, my voicemail, so it doesn't matter whether I'm checking my messages from the phone, from the computer, it's always going to be up to date. Go ahead and mark it as unread and put the red light back on my phone like magic. Now, in addition to that, we have a, second, a third way that you can check your voicemail, and that actually is through a technology that we can display right on the phone, where you can see your voice messages on the phone itself. And to do that demo, I'm actually going to show you a technology uh, from our software-based phone. So what you're going to see here is a software-based phone that I'm actually going to change the skin on because you can actually put multiple different views of it. And in its default mode, it looks just like our standard phone. So this is actually the phone I use. I use it with my Bluetooth headset. But I have all the same capabilities of a desk phone, which include the ability to push buttons on the phone itself if I want to dial a call, the ability to, to interact with that and see phones ringing, the ability to uh, have information displayed on my phone screen. And in that case, the information I'm going to display in this demonstration is my visual voicemail. So what I can actually do is log into this phone with my username and my password. And when the screen refreshes, you're actually going to notice that I've got voice messages here. These are my old messages that I'm going to save. And when I go through my old messages, what it's going to do for me is present me my voicemail inbox. And just 
just like we did before on the computer, I can now see right on my phone screen who called me. So if I'm coming into my office, my computer's off, I've got five minutes between meetings, I need to know why my red light's on my phone and if it's the important call I've been expecting. I can pull the, pull the information up on my phone screen, see in a heartbeat who's called me, but, and pick which messages and which order I want to listen to them, and then move on to my day. Very, very powerful feature. Another integrated and related part of that that we've also built into the base system for all users, and again, I did want to point out that all of this stuff is built in for all users for the platform you choose with no additional licensing and no additional cost. So that integrated messaging is for all users, not just one user, not just a sampling of users, but all users. In addition to that, we've also integrated a technology called Live Record and a technology that gives you integrated faxing. And Live Record is just as you'd imagine, it's ad hoc call recording. If you choose to, you can enable that for users, and, and users can actually decide to record a call at any given time. And when that call is done, that call is actually saved and delivered to email as a WAV file, just like another voicemail message would be, which gives you the ability to, to record a call for training purposes, gives you to, maybe to record instructions that you get while you're talking on the phone, uh, maybe a sales order. The, the, the options are very broad. The second, the second thing we're doing, which is, I think, pretty exciting, is we've natively brought electronic faxing into your office by giving you the ability to have your fax number routed into the system and have any faxes that come in the door automatically converted into electronic images and delivered to your email as well. And that's also built in for, for no extra cost or licensing. But wait, there's more. As I mentioned before, the teleworker capabilities are probably one of the more exciting things we could do. And as I demonstrated a minute ago, my software phone is a great way for me to get my people mobile. Now you might say, well, they have cell phones. Why do they need a software phone? And if you have people that actually are highly mobile, the ability to be a part of the system when you need to be, like, for example, to make or receive business calls through the system as if you're sitting in the office, or the ability to be a part of a conference call uh, are all things that are really best suited to being in the office. And yet when you're on the road, it's not capable. So what, this is, what the software phone allows you to do is, from pretty much as this picture shows, anywhere in the world that you can have Internet access, you can start up your software phone, grab a headset, and you can actually participate in calls. And the analogy is it's like we put a very, 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 very long cable all the way from your office to wherever you are, and it enables you to work just like you're sitting at your desk. Now, if your needs are more permanent, we actually have a permanent uh, hardware-based solution where you can put a physical phone at a remote location. And what that does is it actually establishes a permanent link between that, home, that remote location and the main office. So that you could have, for example, an owner with a home office if they need to go off-site and do work like pay up credit lines or, or follow up on payroll and just be focused but still be online and still be able to make and receive calls. Very, very powerful feature and exciting there. And, and of course, as, as you can imagine, video is supported in both of these scenarios. So even more powerfully, when you're remote, you can have a point-to-point -point video call between people in, in the office, even if they're local or remote. Now, another feature that, that I really is, I think is exciting and impactful for small business is a function we call ACD, or call queuing. ACD is an acronym, by the way. It stands for Automated Call Distribution. And what ACD call queuing gives you the ability to do is to be able to take callers, especially customers, and instead of giving them a, a voicemail box of, of, of someone or putting them in a round-robin scenario where they're you know, bouncing between different desk extensions and the operator while they're trying to be serviced, we can actually give you the ability to service your customers by having them enter into a waiting queue. So let's say, for example, you have a sales team that takes calls for your products. And in that sales team, you have three people. And those three people take calls. Well, what happens typically in small business is when, when someone needs to talk to sales, all, all phones ring, and hopefully someone picks up. But maybe three people are busy, maybe two, two people are on break, uh, and, and ultimately you get to a scenario where the customer is sitting there either ringing endlessly, being dropped into a dead-end voicemail box, or being sent back to the operator, all the while just wanting to buy something from you. So what we can do with the queuing technology is put them into a queue where they're going to be here, they're going to be put into a queue and, and routed to the first person that's available. And while they're in the queue, they're going to hear pleasant hold music. They're going to have an optional repeating greeting that you can state of, of why they're holding and that you're going to get to them. And, of course, you can, you can give them the comfort of knowing that they're actually going to be serviced instead of not knowing what's going to happen. And in addition to all that, we have the ability to give you built-in basic reporting. So you could look at things like how many people were on the, did you receive calls from today? Or my, most, my more uh, interesting f capability is the ability to see how many calls I got abandoned today which tells me those are people that, that couldn't wait and hung up. And that's a, that's a problem that no one wants to have. If people want to buy your products or get help and, and they're hanging up out of frustration. So we can, we, can, we can have information that allows us to actually run our business better with this built-in technology.